you ever heard of a soy cat? Or a cat made of soy or something? No, not, not ever. Uh, it's been bugging me because this guy yesterday at the lemonade stand said something about why would a cat come in soy? But he said it completely out of the blue and I had no idea what he was talking about. Apropos of nothing. It came out of nowhere. We, we didn't say anything about cats or cats at all. Well, the cats didn't even come up. And then all of a sudden he's like, well, why would a cat come in soy? Why would a cat come in soy? And are you sure that he didn't say something before that that might have made that make sense? So I'm pretty sure I got the whole, I was there, you know. Yeah, okay, you were there, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you heard the whole conversation. I'm a really good listener. That's not true. I am a good, no, I'm a very good listener. No, I'm not, I'm not trying to insult you. I'm just saying that you're not always a very good listener. I am a good. Okay, okay, do you remember that time when the FAA had to send guys onto the plane to drag you off down at LAX because you wouldn't get off the plane after it landed? They said very specifically, keep the seatbelt fastened when seated. Now, how am I supposed to get up and wander around the cabin or get off the plane if I can't take the seatbelt off? They didn't cover that contingency. Okay, now here's exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, that lady that got up and told you the little story at the beginning of the flight, remember her? She has more to say after that. Yes, remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the captain turns off the fastened seatbelt sign. The what sign? The fasten seatbelt sign. I don't think I've ever, I've never heard that. You see, and this is exactly my point. There's more to the story. I'm saying that it's possible, it's just possible, that you may have missed something in the conversation yesterday that, for some reason, made the soy cat's comment make sense. Okay, well, if he said I mean, there was a lemonade. Think hard. And they were asking about stuff that had nothing to do with lemonade. Think harder. Why would a cat come in soy? Look, animals blinded by sudden retinal detachment. <laughs> That's, That's absurd. absurd. Not you. My blind dog chased a frisbee into a grain thresher. That's not absurd. Now we're selling lemonade so that it won't happen again. What are you doing about it? Well, I, I guess we're buying lemonade. <laughs> no, you don't need to factor that in. Well, treat it as a non-divisible asset. I excuse me. Did you just say you were playing frisbee with a blind dog? Yeah, you know, she can have the umbrella stand. And the hairless cats. She can have the furry one. It's Oh, ask if it comes in soy. Does it come in soy? No, not you. Why, why, why would a cat come in soy? So you remember now. You know, that's the second suppressed memory I've had in the last few days. See, I told you there was something you were probably missing. And speaking of missing things, I didn't get my shoulder massage from Jennifer. Why did you need a shoulder massage from Jennifer? Because she said she would give me one. She said that she was giving shoulder massages to the recruits in Guy's boot camp. I hate to tell you, but you didn't really do boot camp. I did two laps through my own living room with that boot camp. Well, you know, that was only a very small subset of the overwhelming world that was my boot camp. And why would I do more? Because, you know, I did your boot camp yesterday. Mm -hmm. I woke up this morning, I'm 10 pounds heavier. Well, that's because you only did the weight gain part of the boot camp. Why would somebody want to gain weight at boot camp? Well, it's sort of a lose weight, gain weight, and then you lose more weight thing. The boot camp's not supposed to have a weight gain section. It's all weight loss. <sighs> you know, I got tackled about 40 times yesterday, and I didn't get a shoulder massage. Well, I did go get a haircut yesterday. I thought that might alleviate the pain. Why would that alleviate your pain? Eh, they say when you're hurting inside that you should change something about yourself. I think they mean psychologically. You know, I don't know why everyone thinks that Sam is so fantastic. Look what his minions did to my hair. I'll just have to keep going to happy clips. Look, the important thing is I didn't get my shoulder massage. And now I'm stuck here having to imagine what it would have been like if I had gotten it. You know what that would have been like? No, what? I'll tell you. Interesting technique. Where did you learn massage? From my mom. Did she ever work at a correctional facility? Shh, we're relaxed, we're calm. Where else does oh. it hurt? You mean now? What's that smell? WD-40. I'm all out of massage oil. Well, maybe you should take off your shirt. Oh, no. No, 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 it's fine. No, I'm fine. 
wasn't very sexy at all. Hmm. Didn't look like you were thinking it was very sexy. You know, I was gonna imagine it being sexy, and then it wasn't sexy. Why would I imagine an unsexy massage? I ask your mother. Let me... Okay, I'm gonna try this again, okay? This time it's gonna be really sexy, okay? Sex? I don't want it. Bordering on dirty. No, I don't need to be... <laughs> so there I am, right? No, hold on, don't go anywhere. Don't, you're ruining it for me. I think I'm gonna go grab Okay, so... I'm there, I'm still half in and half out of the doorway, right? Down a shake of a leaf. This is nice. And she lifts oh, up her... God, I did it again! That wasn't sexy either. What the hell's wrong with me?